Today we're going to talk about how to work from home. Not how to make money from home. How do you actually work in your home? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Your Digital Mindset, the channel devoted to you, the online entrepreneur, your mindset, and especially your online business. Okay, thought I'd make a little stroll video again. And of course, I got the sun coming in through the back, so just forgive me, please. I want to talk about, you know, we talk about, you know, what to do to make money from home all the time, but we don't really talk about how to actually work within our home very much. I mean, I've dropped some tips here and there, and I've actually got a video down below in the playlist, but I thought I'd go over it one more time. Because, you know, even those of us who have been doing this for a long time, we still learn stuff every day. And we, you know, we can add to what we taught before. So I thought I'd go ahead and share some more tips with you. And basically, I'm just going to share with you what I do. And you can modify that to however it works for you. But first and foremost, it's getting up early. And you've heard me say that probably plenty of times. But I'm not talking about 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm talking about, like me, it's 4.30. And again, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night to do the things you have to do in the middle of the night. And I just stay up and go to work. But I have my, my clock set for 4.30. And it's just important. That's really the, the most important step of it is getting up early and getting alone with you and your thoughts and, you know, what you want to get done that day. Again, you've heard me say this before as, as well probably, is, you know, especially if you have other people in your household, is, let, you know, you want to get up before they start going, hey, I need, I need, I need, I want, I want, I want. You want to be able to say, hey, this is how my day is going to go. Then when they get up, you can address them accordingly. And I want to mention this is uh, that step one is getting up early. Then I like to hydrate, have a big glass of water, and then do some stretching, some, some, you know, some light exercise, get the blood pumping, and then set a big three, talking about what you want to get done that day. Set a big three of what has to get done that day, okay? Then once you've got that set, then you need you know, set up your Pomodoro technique. What's, what's going to be your, your time blocks for that day? Are you going to do a 25-5 like the Pomodoro sets out in its technique? I do a 35-5 as a general rule. But you can modify that to whatever works for you. But the Pomodoro technique is a 25-5. 25, 25 of super focused, high intensity work, no distractions, okay? And that's why it's important also to set boundaries, all right? Let everybody in your household know, hey, you're the most important thing in my life. And I'm doing this for you. However, unless what you need me to do is crucial and important and an emergency, then I will take care of it on those breaks. Maybe sometimes you have to take a longer break than five minutes. Cool. But I'm just saying, set your day up in the beginning to do it successfully. And setting up those time blocks and committing to that as much as you can will help you have so much more success, okay? But yeah, but let those people know, hey, if what you have, what you need me for is important that I need to do right now, I'll knock it out. Then I'll get to work on my time blocks and the work that I have to get done that day. So getting up early, hydration, little exercise, the Pomodoro technique, setting up your big three. And then me on my breaks, speaking of the breaks, I like to do a little exercise on those breaks. I mean, it's important to get exercise because we're sitting behind as a general rule, we're sitting, we're sitting there behind a computer all day, okay? And that's just not a lot of exercise. It's good brain exercise, but your body needs movement, okay? Don't throw rocks at me. It's just important. It's only five minutes. So on those breaks, some of those during the day, do some exercises. Me personally, I have a thing, thing called a gazelle. So I get on my gazelle. I have this little bike peddler thing. I have two of them. One I have on the table, one I have on the floor. So I did the gazelle. I did the, the arm bike peddler. Of course, I'm, in, I'm no physical specimen, but however, I'm not overweight, okay? And that's easy to do. When you work, you just sit down and work on a computer all day. It's easy to get overweight. So try to get some exercise in there. Sorry for the shaky uh, arm here. Uh, man, this is probably one of the biggest tips I can give you is don't turn the TV on, okay? Leave the TV off from the time you get up to the time you're ready to be done with your work or getting close to it. I don't turn the TV on until I'm ready to go to bed at night because it is a total revenue-stealing, dream-crushing, business-destroying <laughs> box, okay? I mean, TV is a killer. Okay, I haven't turned it on during the daytime, except for on weekends, like if it's football season or something. You know, I will modify it on the weekend. But during the week, from Monday to Friday, I don't turn the TV on at all, all day. All right, and that is a big, a huge distraction killer for yourself. Okay, because the TV is just a distraction. Plus, there's hardly anything good coming out of it anyway, unless you're watching a YouTube video in your digital mindset. But, uh, okay, so let me see. And if you can, try not to... Other than turn your alarm off on your phone, try not to look at your phone for the first 30 minutes to an hour when you get up. Because I'm, you know, I'm all about mindset, okay? And if you stay away from your phone, you know, people wanting things from you at the very beginning of the day, staying away from your phone will keep you away from bad news, you know, people needing too much out of you right when you start your day. Stay away from your phone for the first 30 minutes to an hour while you're getting your mindset right will help you so much. 
okay? So there you go. So you're getting up early. You're, you're getting hydration. You're stretching. You're setting your big three. You're setting boundaries. You're implementing the Pomodoro technique and leaving the TV off. Stay away from the phone. All those things will help you have so much more success. If you got any tips to share with me, I'd love to hear them. If you got questions, drop them down below. It's Chaz here with yourdigitalmindset.com, and I definitely hope to see you on the inside. Thanks a lot.